Welcome back guys to my Bully series where I bring you the latest news, updates and rumours about this game. So we've talked a lot about Pinewood Studios in this series and their casting calls for voice and motion capture actors for a video game that is rumoured to be Bully 2. Now Rockstar employees have been found to be sharing these casting roles on social media, they've been giving a lot more credibility to these rumours, and this week that connection deepens. So Jessica Jeffries, who is the casting director at Pinewood Studios, has been very careful not to give away too much information about these casting calls. They've even started listing some casting calls privately and even sending the resumes directly to actors instead of listing them publicly. However, Jessica Jeffries and Pinewood Studios may have accidentally given it all away after Jessica Jeffries followed Rockstar Games on social media. Up until now, she has basically never mentioned Rockstar Games and even put out a statement saying that one of the casting roles was not for Billy 2. However, taking the time to follow Rockstar Games says otherwise. And it's not just Rockstar Games she followed, she actually specifically followed Rockstar employees who work in animation and you'd assume these animators at Rockstar Games would be highly linked to the motion capture work she would be doing in Pinewood Studios, since the animators would be taking the real-life motion capture work that was done in Pinewood Studios and bringing it to life, animating it within the game. So although these are just recent Twitter connections, it does establish some sort of working relationship between Jessica Jeffries and Rockstar Games. Interestingly, a few days after Jessica Jeffries followed Rockstar Games, Pinewood Studios, the studio she works at, the studio that's doing the motion capture work, also followed Rockstar Games on both Twitter and Instagram. Now, Pinewood Studios doesn't just follow people for no reason. If you take a look at their feed, they follow um, certain video game development studios and certain publishers that they have previously worked with, that they've previously had a working relationship with. So although this might be a small detail for some of you guys, the connection behind this is actually huge. It's also worth mentioning, but social media connections was actually what gave away Roger Clark as being the main protagonist in Red Dead Redemption 2. Roger Clark's Twitter connections were being analysed and he was found to be networking and following other confirmed motion capture actors who played in the first Red Dead Redemption game and the only way he could know them is if he was playing in Red Dead Redemption 2, which he was. I actually made several videos on my channel talking about Roger Clark potentially being the main protagonist in Red Dead Redemption 2, obviously before that was announced and a lot of this was to do with social media connections. I think a lot of people underestimate how passionate and investigative the Rockstar and general gaming community can be. Simply liking a status or following people on social media might not mean much to these companies, but for us it establishes the important connections and further confirms a video game that we've been waiting over 10 years for a sequel for. So this is a very big deal. Now speaking of Pinewood Studios, they're currently still casting for a variety of roles on backstage, many of which are for bully characters. I want to give a mention to Fika112 for finding these, he's really been on point with these discoveries lately. But yeah, let's take a look at some of these roles on backstage. The first one is a male school bully supporting character and it is be to be aged between 13 to 17. The accent is a soft German-Dutch Scandinavian, the friend of one of our lead characters at school, but their relationship is toxic, as he is a bully, often making the boy the butt of his jokes. He teases him, but assures him they're only joking, but the gang of bullies take it too far and physically abuse and manipulate the boy daily. Now this casting call even included a script for this character, so let's take a look at this script. Some of the lines include, aren't ugly band shirts a little outdated? Haha, <laughs> oh come on, I'm only joking. Your dad is such a loser, isn't he? He is, isn't he? And what, are you going to cry now? Do you want me to go home to your mummy? As you guys can probably tell, I'm not a great voice actor, so I'm not going to read all of this and I'm going to move on. The next role was a confident young girl supporting character aged between 14 to 17. 
The confident young woman, but at a younger age when she was self-absorbed and confident, much like the joyous side of her personality when she is older, hopeful, optimistic, approaching her teens and wants to be older than she is. An insecure boy supporting character age 7 to 13, a soft German accent, the younger of his siblings and he longs to have friends and belongs somewhere less chaotic than his family life at home. His family have neglected him and he has found himself attached to a group of youths who take advantage of his loneliness and bully him relentlessly. Although he's unhappy with this group, he's so desperate for companionship that he will put up with the abuse he receives to escape his loneliness. And the fourth and final casting call that was found was for a conflicted young woman, female age 18 to 30. This is a strong young woman who focuses on solving other people's problems as a way to distract herself from her own. A very kind and caring person, always putting other people's needs before hers. Although when she tries to offer others help, she's so distracted by her own problems that her help is not always as dedicated as it could be. Conflicted as different parts of her personality fight to be at the forefront of her mind and she struggles to know which voice to follow. Joy, anger and insecurity are the key roles of her personality that will need to be portrayed uniquely in the vocal performance. Therefore, the artist playing will also be playing these personalities as individual roles and will be often in discussion with herself. Needs to confront her fears and the loneliness she ignores and needs to accept herself for everything she is. Now I thought it was interesting to see quite a few of these characters required German accents. I'm not sure how relevant this information is yet, however Roger Grunwald is a confirmed actor for Take Two Productions who is currently working on an untitled motion capture project we are assuming is for Billy 2 that is still in production, and his role is a German psychiatrist. So potentially there could be some link or relevance to the German accents and the German character that he's going to be playing. So that was all the Billy 2 news and information I have for this video. As always, I'll have all of my sources linked down in the description if you guys want to check out where I got any of this information from. If you do enjoy these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you could take a few seconds to leave a like on the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future breaking information about Billy 2. Have a great day guys, and I'll catch you in the next video.